Hat again, y'all. Sean from Cappy's Cards. Back with you tonight. Got another uh, product here. I went to Target today. Since the Walmart by me is now basically out of the card game. If you've watched uh, my previous video, I said that. And I, you know, pick Meyer Dry pretty much, right, whenever I go there for anything good. I've seen some videos of folks uh, going to Target and getting a repack product. So I decided to go check it out. It's a uh, Fairfield repack product. And I grabbed two of them, right, from my local Target there. And the reason I grabbed two, one is this one was hiding in the back of the shelf, right, of all the blaster boxes and stuff like that that were there, right? Luckily, I saw it, you know, uh, out of the corner of my eye and grabbed it. And then as I was walking around, I just saw this one just laying around in the store, right? So somebody had grabbed it and I guess set it down. This one on my right is definitely heavier than this one on my left. So that's why I decided to go ahead and grab two. Figured maybe we see what the difference is. or Maybe I'm just nuts and they're actually the same weight and have the same thing in it. But to me, this definitely feels heavier. Even if I switch hands, right? Now it's on my left. That is definitely heavier. So we'll find out. We'll save the heavier one for later. And as always, uh, you know, whatever I open in these, unless I find something ridiculously stupid and huge or something like that, they're all going to wind up in the packs that I sell down here in my Etsy shop. The link is in the description of the video. And uh, you can hop on over there and get your favorite football, baseball card team packs, right? Just a random mix of cards, some stars, some rookies, and some other players, right? So uh, all mixed in, you know, for a good price. So let's see what this is, right? It's a Fairfield product. There's been a bunch of other folks that have opened these on their channels. And uh, they've found some fun stuff. It's $17.99. Seems like a fun rip for eight packs plus whatever the bonus item is. And you can see they've got these from the secondary market or, you know, whatever. And Fairfield. So let's open it and find out. And I brought the knife, but I don't think I need it uh, to get into this. So here we go. And there you can see the packs. You can see how they got the one uh, pack here of 2023 Series 1 that was kind of in the front there showing. Just like the other one's also showing the same pack. But let's pull these out. I wonder how many of these are the uh, Japanese packs right? that you keep finding in these sorts of things. Hopefully none. Um, but we'll find out. So a couple more series one for 23 and let's go back to the junk wax era with 91 leaf series two. Have not opened that since probably 1991. So let's see how that goes. Uh, Panini Golden Age is a bunch of like celebrities and stuff. I think well, we'll find out. We'll probably open that first. Got a fat pack of heritage. So heritage from 2019 value pack of 20 cards. I got a top loader <laughs> and another top loader. Um, okay. Did somebody open that? Give me this back. Because <laughs> I didn't get a bonus item. All right, those are just two chrome packs. It says, I mean, is that really the bonus item? An empty top loader? Eight card packs and a bonus item. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nothing else in there. Like I said, this is the one that was on the back of the shelf. I opened from the bottom, and it felt good. It looks good, right? It looks like, you know, this one doesn't have any tape or anything either. So we'll see. You know, this is, I think that seems like regular glue, maybe. Right? Yeah. That's a lot of glue on that. So maybe somebody opened it. I didn't think Target took returns on baseball card products, but that's my bonus item. <laughs> I guess I'm emailing Fairfield and showing them what I got here and see if they uh, come through like MJ Holdings did with the uh, uh, you know, tin that I had too few uh, things in. We'll find out. But here are the, uh, like I said, Golden Age from Panini, right? Um, age is nine and up. I mean, it's not like they're porn stars in this or anything, is there? Uh, Charlton Heston, whoever that is. Uh, this looks like a Model T car. Shoeless Joe Jackson, CW Post, and Michael Spinks. <laughs> um, yeah, so celebrities and not-so-celebrities. That corner is busted there on Michael Spinks. Is that Zoom? Yeah, look at that. Busted. But <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see how that goes. I already shredded the receipt, too, from buying this. So we'll see if uh, Fairfield, or not Fairfield, uh, and yeah, Fairfield comes through and helps me out. We'll see if that has something in it, too. 
Here's the 91 Leaf, kind of a boring design, right? 90 Leaf has some cards that people still chase after, like the Frank Thomas rookie. But 91 Leaf, not the most attractive design, right? And haven't hit any major even stars here in this yet. That is a dud pack all the way down to the puzzle piece. Not even, I mean, Randy Myers is maybe the best player in there. Bobby Ojeda, a couple ex-Mets in their future uniforms. It's the wrong Jose Uribe, right? <laughs> Remember that craze from a few years ago? Uh, let's do let's do these tops packs, right? This one feels this one is definitely thicker than the other ones. Look, you can tell. Let's do that one last. Um, and see what we got in there. We got some kind of hit, or we should, or we got a big spacer. But this is series one from this year. So Gonsolin and Freeman to start. Toro. Adamas, O'Neill Cruz, DeGrom, Bellinger, Cobb, there's Tommy Edmond in a blue. I forget whose blue is there. Uh, insert, we'll set that there. Oh, God. That is the wrong stars of the MLB card to get. <sighs> you go back on my channel far enough, right, you can see where I pulled a bunch of wanders right before all this, you know, pedophile crap broke. And <laughs> those cards are so worthless now. Wainwright, uh, right there. Goldschmidt, Braves team card. There's the leaders with Aaron Judge's 63 home runs or 62 home runs, right? Uh, Thompson, Blue Jays, Javi Baez, stars the MLB. Haven Smith, Cronenworth, Shohei on the back. Speaking of, you know, things that are going on in baseball, you got Craig Council jumped to the uh, Cubs today, kind of out of the blue, right? Uh, was, they had hopes for him coming to the Mets, but the Mets hired the bench coach from the Yankees. You can tell it was a thick card in there, so let's uh, see what it is. Council making $40 million over five years, $8 million a year. Jordan, Singer. Let me set these down. Let's hide the... Ooh, it's a good card behind it, too. Garrett Cole. Little ace of spades from Garrett Cole. Will he win the Cy Young? We'll find out here soon. Uh, Bryce Harper. Yachty. Lede Graveman. Corey Seager. The second time World Series MVP. The world champion Texas Rangers. Sure. Uh, we'll go. Okay, Sanchez. And it's one of these medallion cards. That's the thick card. And it is Jose Ramirez. I honestly think I pulled this before. Different Jose Ramirez. You know, but one of these. Uh, this one is numbered, though, at a 299, so that's pretty cool. So a numbered Ramirez helps save the box a little bit. Now let's open the Heritage Fat Pack, and we'll do Chrome last. If my bonus item is really two top loaders. <laughs> uh, this is 19 Heritage, this Fat Pack. And it's got a uh, blank here, you know, store think here on the back is Martin, Pavetta, Lestakis, Guzman, Grychek, Mookie Betts and the leaders there, Turner, a whole bunch of RBI leaders, <laughs> Sandoval, Jose Ramirez, just keep hitting Jose Ramirez cards, Trevino, DeGrom, I think I have that, I'm gonna set that aside for my PC, if you're new to the channel I do PC some Mets, right, players when they're in their Mets uniforms I should say, you know, DeGrom gets a world championship without even, you know, playing. <laughs> um, that corner's a little blown up. I'm going to have to look at that a little closer. I do not see any high-numbered cards, which is what I'm looking for here. Or anything numbered or anything like that. So why don't I have these in separate piles? So let's open the two chrome packs, and let's see where we go from there. I think we've got a purple one in here. So there's Torkelson. That's not bad. Torkelson rookie in chrome. See if he has a little bit better year next year. Coming back for them. I'll set that one down. Archer, Starling Marte, and Sawinski, rookie in purple. Purples are not numbered, but it's a nice hit. Yeah, so I don't know what to think about the Mets hiring the Yankees bench coach. I know nothing about the guy. And just that off the top of my head scares me. <laughs> but, you know, it's a, it's a very Mets move. Gray... Rojas, Maley, and Cesar Hernandez purple this time. Yeah, and I'm going to take the Shoeless Joe out of here if it's in good shape. 
I will mix that in with the White Sox packs, right? But I don't know what I'll do with these. I'll probably just set them in a, a mix box of just, you know, random cards I wind up selling on eBay. So, yeah, I did get a one-numbered card out of the packs, but, I mean, I'm, I'm going to email Fairfield. I will definitely follow up and see what happens, especially if we see what the hit is in here. So this opened a little bit differently, too, I think. Um, I mean, I, no, not really. If I look at the bottom of this one, it kind of opened the same. So you can see in here, there are definitely some different packs in this one. And uh, still can't see. There's a bonus item. Top loaders again for a bonus item. So let's get this 23 top scar pack out of the way here again. And, of course, we got another one. And we've got that leaf set again. That seems to be the norm out of a lot of these. Golden Age. So another one of these. The fat pack this time is 19 Series 1. That's pretty cool. Um, 34 cards this time in that. And uh, let's just pull these all out so the box is empty, as you can see. And I've got the two chrome packs. And really? I mean, these are my bonus items. I'm going to really have to go. I mean, I haven't watched that many videos. But is that really the bonus item? Two empty top loaders. I mean, who the hell cares? Two empty top loaders. What a joke. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to watch some other videos on this and do a little bigger search. I watched, you know, the couple channels I normally subscribe to at Open These. I didn't watch the whole thing, so maybe I should have. Um, but I did see, you know, just what they opened like this, and I didn't really pay attention to the bonus items. I don't know. I've heard that name Claudine Colbert, right? She's got to be from the 20s or something like that. Yeah, 20s Broadway actress. King Tut's Tomb. King Tut. Uh, Charlene Tilton. Uh, she's from Dallas, right? Yeah. Uh, Gene Tierney and Jim Booten, who pitched for the Yankees, I guess. So uh, we'll set him there, too, with the other ones, and these can go here. Charlene Tilton, I remember, made an appearance on Married with Children. Uh, I mean, how random is that? I wonder where they came across 91 Leaf. I got a bunch of them to stick into this. And another, you know, puzzle piece. Who cares? Van Slyke. Uh, Palmero. So a slightly better pack. Jack McDowell was uh, Cy Young around the time, right? Kevin Moss. That would have been a huge card, right, back then. <laughs> um, <laughs> but not now. So, Yeah. Let's do these again, right? Again, I think I've got a, a, something thick here. I think two of them are kind of thick when you look at them compared to the other one. That might be why it felt a little heavier too. Not just that this had more cars in it, but in the Heritage Pack. But th that seems to be the difference. So The bonus item is the top loader for your hits. Don't even give you a penny sleeve. <laughs> ah, Clemens, Carrasco... Uh, Libertor, Corbin Burns, Glacius, Chavis, Grove, and Mike Trout. You always like to see that. Who are the Angels going to wind up hiring as their manager? I haven't seen them pick anybody up yet. Strasburg and, whoops, Strasburg and Scherzer, one-two punch. There's Vladdy in the uh, Stars of the MLB card. And we got McMahon, the leaders, Red Sox, and Marcus Wilson in that pack. So... You know, it is what it is. $17.99 for these? Meh. I mean, it's a fun list. But beyond that, I guess, unless you are hitting stuff like, you know, $2.99, you know, that kind of thing. I don't know. But, I, I mean, I guess it's in line with the prices for everything anymore when it comes to this stuff. And I hadn't posted too much recently, so I wanted to post something. Because, uh, you know what? My sales are down. So I haven't had to buy and do other things as well. Max Reed there in the blue is hiding Shohei in this. Is it numbered? Oh, it's not. That would have been hot if it was. That would have probably paid for everything. But this will wind up eventually getting mixed in with the uh, Angels packs instead. It's not numbered. Bo Bichette. Still a nice card. Still a nice manufactured relic. Uh, Pache, Swaggerty, Grychik, Garcia. And let's see if this one's got one in it, too, since it's a little fat. 
uh, here in the field. Or if it's got, yeah, it's definitely got something in there. So is that, yeah, that's Gunnar Henderson. Nice rookie card there. See if the O's bounce back. See if they go out and actually buy some pitching help. And uh, see what they can find. Probably hope Rodriguez, too. That's not bad right there. Evan Lee, Arias, the Orioles, Jazz Chisholm, Abrams. Let's hold that to see who that is. Ah, Bobby Abreu, 30-30. That's not numbered. There's Buxton in the stars of the MLB. See if he bounces back a little bit better next year. Nola, Lee, Freed, Rondon. Okay, so there's Abrams, and who's he hiding? Is it numbered? No. It is Suzuki for the Cubs. So not numbered there. But, hey, I mean, three of these manufactured relics. It's not too bad, I guess, out of this. Try the chrome here. Steven Kwan, rookie card's a nice card. Telez, Mookie Betts. The purple is Bryson Stott's rookie this time. So not bad there. One more chrome pack. A couple nice rookies to mix in. I always like doing that with the different packs right when I can. Ref Snyder, Rodriguez, Musgrove. And, ugh. <laughs> Oh, I just don't have my luck tonight, I guess, with everything. Wander Franco. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I sell packs of 30 team, you know, cards from your favorite team. Dollar or 85 normally. Though they're 10% off right now through the end of November. So, you know, hop on over there. Get a whole bunch. There's even discounts for uh, bulk for some teams, right, if you buy a bunch. Or there's a mix box that I sell in bulk where you get things. So, haven't opened uh, 2019 base in a while. What series was this? Where did I throw the pack? Series one. So, Kozar Walker. Here's a Cunha's cup card. Right? Not his rookie, but it's a nice cup card. Zobrist. Lopez Allen. Gannett. De Los Santos. Arcia. And we got Kraken Jokes. Perez and Rizzo. And Javi Baez. Godley. Bradley Jr., Santana, Brandon Lau, the Astros. Look at this. Shohei with the 150 design. Is that... It's not numbered, but... With the 150 on it, that's, you know, got to be something there, right? That's pretty cool. I'll have to look that one up. Uh, Bob Gibson in the throwback design from the 84 design, right? Well after he was... Out of the league. I'm going to set that one down, too. I like that. Scherzer, Candelario, Clevenger, Buxton, Jay Bruce is a Met, Snell, Zimmerman, uh, Verlander, Andrews, Joe Jimenez, Zay Martinez, Didi, Cueto, Villanueva, Straley, and Aaron Nola to wrap everything up. So... Hey, there's, there you go, right? That's what $18 gets you, right? Times two. So some stuff here, right? That's nice. But all of it is going to wind up over in the Etsy shop, right? At some point, probably. Unless this show is something more expensive than I think it is. Or the manufacturer. I don't think the manufactured relic is. You can see the difference, though, why the one's numbered and the one is, these aren't, right? Just the color design, right? Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's nice. Nice packs. A little bit of fun, right? Um, this is kind of cheesy if this is really the bonus item, right? A couple of top loaders, but you know, whatever. If you see them in your local target, maybe grab one, see if you have any better luck or check out some of the other channels that are out there that, you know, open these things too. Just out of curiosity, since I thought the glue was kind of strong on this, is it the same on this? That opened a lot easier. So I kind of wonder a little bit about it, right? Maybe those are opened. Maybe. I don't know. But uh, we'll see. Go see what other people got those hits and, you know, check them out. And again, check out my shop. Give us a like, subscribe if you like these sort of videos too, right? If you like to see me bummed out after I, you know, open these. <laughs> or, you know, happy as well, right? If I pull something nice. Heck, I only pulled one card for my PC and I'm pretty sure I have this already. So, you know, it is what it is. These will be fun cards to mix in and Make a couple more packs and maybe update some pictures and do stuff like that here with the off season for baseball coming on and hey football you know wrapping up pretty good here right in the mid middle of the season so it's a lot of fun 
uh, to, you know, sit here on weekends and watch the Cowboys get screwed by the refs and, you know, themselves in some ways, but still, uh, you know, lots of fun. So appreciate you watching and we'll see you over in the shop.